meteorologist Ron Rhodes. Well, the temperature yesterday topped out at 86 degrees, a couple below the average high for the middle of August. And today, we're right back at 86. The clouds are going to help out by moving in and keeping that temperature down a little bit and some rain showers, too. Now, we do have an isolated severe weather threat down to the south, and that is for damaging winds. Don't really see a tornado threat today, and that's going to be really south of the river counties in uh, Kentucky. We're talking about south of Union, well, Henderson, Davis, and Hancock counties. So we take a look right now at Davis County in the heart, the county seat. That's Owensboro right there on the river. And of course, a look from our roof claim camera on top of the Hampton Inn. And uh, that's looking to the east. We had a beautiful sunrise this morning and also a good sunrise on our camera in downtown Evansville on top of the Fifth Third Bank building, which after November 21st will be the tallest building in downtown Evansville when, when the 420 main building is imploded. Looking out toward the river, looks like a little boat traffic out there. We got plenty of car and truck traffic on the strip in Henderson, heading northbound toward the Twin Bridges right now. Good looking view there. Look at all that traffic from Warwick County heading to east, at the east side of Evansville, probably getting some grub. It is lunchtime after all. Right now, the temperature 83 degrees, and the dew point has started to creep up. Though. Now we're in that very humid range. I think for the most part, we're going to be right around 70, but it's up there now. Southwest wind at 6 miles an hour. The wind is going to be from the south and southwest at around 5 to 10. So it's pretty much the direction and the speed we're going to see throughout the day. Not a big wind at all. How low can we go? 79 degrees in Carmi, 80 in Harrisburg, 81 in Vincennes, 82. I see you in Morganfield, 83 in Dixon, 84 degrees in Owensboro, 85 is off the board now. We did see 85, well there we go, 85 in Princeton, we did see 85 in Madisonville, 86 in Fordsville currently. Check this out, uh, I don't know, it, contrast would be a little bit better. This time of the year it's kind of tough to distinguish between clouds and the sky because it's always so humid out and it's kind of a milky blue. But if you could get this, Candy Rayburn got this shot in Morganfield. Angie, if you look at this, you can see, look at that, piled high hair, right? That's the hair, there's the forehead, there's the craggy nose, almost look like a witch nose right there though, and there's the chin. Now it's either, she says Marie Antoinette cloud, I'm thinking maybe Louis XIV. It's, it's got to be with the powdered wig, you know, and, that, and that, <laughs> that craggy nose right there. It's a funky cloud, there's no doubt about that. Candy, thank you so much for that. Beautiful sunset last night on the west side of town, and Connie Howerton of course was there to get it. Walking her dogs as she does, that's right there at modern day. Oh, look at this live first warning Doppler radar. Now we're starting to see a little action. Let's go ahead and put this into motion. Showers, even a few thunderstorms started to fire up down to the south of the tri-state. We're going to zoom in a little closer. A little bit of lightning there just south of Princeton, Kentucky. It's moving to the northeast, so it's headed for... Uh, basically, uh, the Western Kentucky Parkway, just south of Madisonville, uh, Greenville. They've seen a little bit of rain just to the north, kind of fire up and head toward Hartford. And so we got some action down in Western Kentucky. And that's the area where we do have that isolated damaging wind threat. It's going to be farther to the south in Western Kentucky. But here comes that mass of rain. So it looks like we're going to get a pretty good chance uh, for rain, not just later today, but tomorrow morning. Looks like we could see a pretty good dousing, too. And that's that's quite a bit of rain, which is moving into the boot heel of Missouri right now in West Tennessee. Of course, uh, we have what's left of Fred continuing to work its way up to the northeast and not impacting us at all. Future Tracker shows here comes that wealth of rain, a few showers and thunderstorms, especially down to the south, and that isolated damaging wind threat. And as we work our way into the evening, still some rain on the board. In fact, really, over the next 24 hours, that's going to be our best chance for rain. It's going to be later this afternoon and then also tomorrow morning. And you can see quite a bit of rain overnight working its way through the tri-state on our latest run of Future Track and even some showers out there first thing in the morning. So I think it could be a wet morning drive for a lot of folks where it wasn't this morning at all. So this is going to be a little different. Today we started out dry with some sunshine. Now we've got more clouds out there and we've got the rain chance picking up. Tomorrow the rain chance is mainly in the morning and then they're going to be breaking up these clouds and these rain showers as we head into the afternoon and we're going to be seeing more sunshine. You can see that by late in the day and as we head into evening. Marginal risk for severe weather does include Hopkins County, Muhlenberg County, most of Ohio County and in parts of Webster and McLean County. Does not include Owensboro or Henderson uh, for that matter. But just to the south of there. Don't see a tornado threat, less than 2%. Don't see a hail threat, less than 5%, but we do see that damaging wind threat that'll be out there, which is maybe a few thunderstorms that fire up. 86 degrees for a high today. That's my three degree guarantee high. Clouds, some sunshine. From here on out, more clouds than sun as they stream up from the southwest. Scattered thunderstorms out there and a humid south-southwest wind at around five to 10 miles an hour. Three degree guarantee. Yesterday I called for a high of 86. It was 86, how about that, on the nose. That's a three degree guarantee winner. And today's winner of the umbrella, Myra Kenny. Congratulations, Myra. Come on by the station.
Make sure you take the US 60 entrance onto Marywood, by the way. <laughs> that 41 entrance is blocked. It has been for a month or more, and it probably will be for another month or more. Anyway, Myra, congratulations to you. And here's what it looks like over the next seven days. Temperatures are going to be in the mid 80s for highs tomorrow. Again, again, we start the day with clouds and a better chance of rain. Then the rain uh, starts to taper off and the clouds start to break up a little bit in the afternoon. Look at that, though. As we head into the weekend, it's going to be getting close to 90 degrees. Chances for rain, not all that great, but they're going to be out there. Some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And as we head into next week, look at that Monday and Tuesday, Angie. 91 and 91 back to back. Here come the 90s again. Fooey. It's from Grunge Rock. <laughs> Fooey. Uh, Fooey. No Fooey on this, though. This is an awesome shot oh, wow. from Chris Conley. This is way up above our, the Hampton Inn, where we normally get our shot of downtown Owensboro. And this, of course, a drone, two seven zeros drones. Uh, that's what Chris Conley That is a runs. great shot. And you can see the bat wing, the gazebo, the, the purple bridge in that case, and just the color of downtown Owensboro really is an impressive shot by Chris. Thank you so much from last night. Good job. I know you like a good party. How you know about 30th anniversary block party? United Caring Services. It next.